what's called a green state where they don't have any training. They've just kind of been living in a kennel overseas. And then we put all the training that we want into them. And that's why we do that. We don't have to undo anything somebody else did. What do you got for a question? Um, do the dogs live with you? Do the dogs live with us? Great question. No. Where's Owen? Come here, dude. So this is my son, Owen. And yeah, they live with us. He's, he'll sit on the couch and watch the Bruins with Owen. But they come home, they live with us. They're part of our family. Um, they're pack animal. And so one of the significant parts about this is the relationship that they have, we call it the bond. The relationship they have with the handler. And it's as much of a relationship with the family as well. Um, but a lot of these dogs, we ask them to do some pretty significant things, whether it's, a, you know, for instance, a, a, a commercial brake alarm at a, at a Wendy's at two in the morning, and, and I have to send him through the uh, drive-up window. That's pretty significant to ask him to do at two in the morning, and he does that partly because of training and partly because I'm asking him to. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> that was my other little demo. What if a bad guy was in the water? Great question. So we actually do water training and part of our certifications, we do an annual train. We, we train our dogs in addition to coming out of patrol school after 20 weeks. We have to go two full days per month of continuous training all year long. And one of those days is a water uh, training day where we do just that, apprehensions in the water. And it happens when a guy is fleeing and we're tracking him and he runs into a swamp the dog has to be able to defeat the barriers in 